There is a lot of news going on, but it is rare when you have a piece of cultural news that is so big, it sort of eats everything else. And that is what is happening with the release of Prince Harry's new book, Spare. Now, as I've said before, I'm not big into the royals. I don't really follow the royals all that much. I haven't followed their various scandals because frankly, we fought an entire revolution, so we don't have to care about the royals. But there is something deeper going on with the battle over whether Prince Harry is a good guy or a bad guy, whether the royal family are villains or heroes and all the rest. And something obviously is happening here because Prince Harry's book sold 1.4 million copies in the US, UK, and Canada on its very first day, which means this is gonna be one of the biggest bestsellers of all time. According to the Wall Street Journal, this is a performance the publisher Penguin Random House said was the largest first day, first day sales total for any nonfiction book it has ever published. The first day sales totals for Spare included pre-orders as well as the sales of print books, digital books, and audiobooks. Penguin Random House, a unit of Bertelsmann, as he said Wednesday. The publisher said it printed 2 million hardcover copies of Spare for the United States. It has already gone back to press. 